Hey guys, it's Jeremy. I'm back today with another video. Today my video is going to be on my Fergins cooler. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I've spent the last few weeks testing out my fragrance cooler. I've wanted to purchase a fragrance cooler for quite some time, and I was actually waiting on Drakdoc to purchase his fragrance cooler and do a video so I could get some ideas of, of exactly what I wanted to purchase and how I wanted that cooler to be set up. So now, as you can see behind me, I have my fragrance cooler. I've spent a few weeks testing it out. I'm here to present you with what I feel um, is a great product um, and a great idea for you to store your fragrances. There's several different options when it comes to fragrance coolers or wine coolers. You have options to either purchase a wine cooler, which will typically cool down between 50 to maybe 65 degrees, depending on the model you choose to purchase. And then you have beverage coolers, also what are known as refrigerators. Um, there are some differences between a refrigerator and a fragrance cooler or a wine cooler. Uh, I'm going to continue to call it a fragrance cooler, so pardon me on that. But a beverage cooler has a compressor, typically. A compressor is the same thing as what's in your refrigerator. Uh, they do consume a little bit more electricity, actually quite a bit more electricity for that matter. They do carry some noise with them. The benefit to that is they do get down to lower temperatures. A typical compressor um, cooler will typically get down to the mid 30s um, and they can typically cool up to the mid 50s. Then you have what's called a thermoelectric cooler. Typically you only find those in wine coolers for the simple fact that they can only typically get down to temperatures around 50 degrees. So the average temperature range is between 50 and 65 degrees. Some of the other benefits to a thermoelectric cooler is they consume very minimal electricity. Um, they're very simplistic. They have very few moving parts. Uh, it, actually, the only moving part actually is the fan that is always on. And I know when I say that the fan is always running, um, you may think that that's just going to kill your electric bill. And I really haven't noticed much difference in my electric consumption whatsoever and I've had mine going for about four weeks now enough that I've had it you know gotten an electric bill and I haven't noticed any difference um, it uses very low power um, it does run all the time like I said and it has very few moving parts in it I mean it's very simplistic uh, I chose to go with that mainly because of the fact that it does not consume electric and it's quiet Currently, I have my wine cooler in my office, as you can see behind me, uh, and I brought it down here simply so I could do this video because my camera's, you know, on my computer here. Um, I probably spent three or four hours looking at beverage coolers and wine coolers. I've looked at most every major brand. I've literally spent hours researching these between um, what temperatures they get down to to the compressors, even to ratings um, from consumers on different websites, uh, even going to consumer reports to see what their ratings were on wine coolers and beverage coolers for that matter. I know from watching Drac Doc, and there's one other video on YouTube of a fragrance cooler, I know what features I wanted. I knew the design kind of how I wanted it to look. Um, and honestly, the appearance of it was really important to me. That was one of the key factors of choosing the particular cooler that I have behind me here. Um, my cooler is a New Air. It's made by a company called New Air. And I'll give you some specs on it. Um, it is a thermoelectric wine cooler. Uh, it measures 17 inches in width, 20 inches in diameter, and 28 and 3 quarters in height. Uh, it does weigh 44 pounds. Um, so it's, it's not it's not the lightest wine cooler. It is obviously significantly lighter in weight than what a uh, traditional compressor cooler is going to be, or as you may call it, a mini fridge. Um, the wine cooler does come with wire racks, uh, which I have one here to show you. So it will come with these wire wine racks, which you cannot really store um, your fragrances on. 
Um, you, I guess you could lay them down, but some of them you can't lay down. What I did is I had some glass shelves cut uh, to accommodate the design behind me. Uh, the cooler runs on uh, it's 70 watts, uh, 1 amp, um, runs on 115. Uh, the one behind me uh, stores 28 bottles of wine. Uh, that's what it's advertised to store. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I did not put any bottles of wine in it to see if that's correct or not. Uh, those are just some of the specs uh, I thought I'd pass on to you. Like I said, mine is a thermoelectric. It's running now. Uh, you cannot hear it running. I don't know if you guys can or not. But it, if you, you can hear the fan going a little bit, but man, it's minimal. Um, so that was a huge selling factor, too, because I do keep my fragrance cooler in my room. Um, some of the features I wanted on a fragrance cooler, one which was huge to me, uh, and I got this idea from Drakdoc, was the LED lighting. Mine does have the blue LED lighting, which you can see. Uh, and I'll actually turn off the light here so you can kind of see what it looks like with the light off. Now, in the video, you really, you really can't see the l blue light that much. It looks, it looks awesome. I mean, the video does not do it justice. When it's at night and it's lit up like that, it looks awesome. So that was a huge selling factor for me that it had the LED lighting. Mine also has the touchscreen, and I will try to zoom in on that for you. Give me one minute here. Mine has a touchscreen like just the buttons just simply touch to adjust um, Celsius and Fahrenheit has a button up here for your light um, I'll go ahead and open it up sorry about the camera you guys this is the best I have I don't have a mobile one as you can see um, I cut I had three quarter inch glass cut so these are pretty thick glass I initially had plexiglass in there I didn't like the way my bottle slid on it. It made this squeaky sound, kind of. I didn't like that. It seemed a little more flimsy. Um, so I did get three quarter inch glass. It does have a beveled edge on it. Um, it's pretty thick. So nothing's gonna, I don't think it's gonna break or anything of that nature. You do have a new air uh, logo up there, a stainless steel handle. Everything else on it, um, it has a black case. Um, that surrounds it. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's quiet. It does have room for five shelves. If you want to store fragrances in this cooler, um, you will have to. You can only get you can only get three shelves in there plus what you see at the bottom. You can store fragrances, so you can put fragrances down here, and then you have room for three additional shelves. It does have spaces to put five wine racks. Um, but if you want to stand up your fragrances, you're not going to be able to get total five shelves in there. Uh, I love this wine cooler. It looks great. It's quiet. It does not consume very much electricity, none that I notice. Uh, the fragrance cooler that I have behind me, the temperature range on this one is 54 to, uh, let me tell you exactly, it gets uh, 54 to 66 degrees. Um, so those of you that want to store your fragrances at a lower temperature. Um, you would not be able to do it with this. You would have to go with a compressor style uh, beverage cooler. Wine coolers typically don't get down to that temperature, anything below 50, um, unless you get into a compressor style cooler. There again, you're going to consume more electricity. You will have that sound. So that's, you got to kind of weigh the good with the bad. I could not find any decent style um, compressor style beverage coolers that had this touchscreen display on it most of them did not have a digital temperature display as this one does up here which tells you the temperature um, that was something I really wanted I like the cosmetic aspect of it I do like that it does show me what the temperature is inside I do like the LED lighting that's a huge bonus um, a lot of the beverage coolers I saw did not have that. Um, some did have a light in them, but it was just the standard yellow, blue, or I'm sorry, yellow, white light. 
Um, and I didn't want to screw with trying to find bulbs or have to buy LED lighting and drill into it to get a wire running through it. I didn't want to screw with all that. You know, um, so I just, I got this one. I looked at literally probably 20 different models of thermoelectric wine coolers before I chose to get this one. And I went with the New Air model, the New Air brand in this particular model for several different reasons. One, all the reviews I've seen on YouTube um, and websites like um, New Air, New Air um, websites like Air and Water, um, which is where I purchased mine from, they were all rated really well. The New Air brand seemed to be rated really well. Uh, prior to purchasing, I did contact customer service at New Air to ask them a few questions as far as, you know, if I could get glass shelves in there, um, you know, how the wine racks were in there, just certain little small questions like that before I chose to, you know, purchase this particular model. They have another model which has a stainless steel um, front door on it. That's the model I really wanted. Unfortunately, the model with a stainless steel door, and this is something to keep in mind if you're buying over the internet and you can't see the cooler in front of you, the stainless steel model comes with different wine racks. And inside of that model, the New Air one, it does have these little pins on each wine rack, like between each, where each shelf would be, which holds the drawer in. And when I had talked to New Air customer service, I had a girl actually go get one out of the back and physically get her hands on it and see if she could pull that little clip off of it because you need to remove that clip on the stainless steel model in order to get a glass shelf on it. And she said every time she pulled on that clip, it seemed like it was pulling the plastic liner, which is inside the insulation. It seemed like it was pulling that, so she didn't want to pull it off and break it. So that right there eliminates you buying that particular model, the New Air stainless steel model, um, if you want to put glass shelves in it, or plexiglass for that matter. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you're deciding to do purchase any fragrance coolers online without physically seeing them in person. You need to look at the racks and how the racks are mounted in them, whether they come out and whether they have any type of retaining clips or anything that keeps them in there. Um, this one here did, does not have those clips. The wine racks simply slide onto a shelf, onto a recessed uh, lip per se. Um, you can just slide them in and out. Um, I feel that this model is the best you're going to get. Um, you know, this particular model, the New Air with the uh, black front touchscreen. Uh, I, I truly feel that this is the best bang for your buck if you're looking at buying a fragrance cooler. Now, I paid under $200 for this wine cooler. Um, I bought mine from Air and Water, which I chose to purchase it from that vendor for several different reasons. One, they're a Google trusted store. Two, they have a 100% positive rating. Um, three, they were the cheapest. Um, right now, the, online, they have this fragrance cooler at Air and Water for $239 uh, plus free shipping. Um, and then on top of that, they have a, a deal going on, which when I bought mine, I got 10% off it. It's, a coupon use code thing um, for 10% off. When I go onto their site right now, they have one that says 15% off. Um, so you get 15% off at $239. Like I said, I got free shipping on it. I had it in like four or five days. So I really couldn't beat it. Plus, if you don't like it, they had free return shipping. So I really couldn't pass it up. They had the best deal. They had the lowest price. Their rating is really well plus their Google Trusted Store. So there are several reasons I chose to go with that vendor. And they are a New Air registered or New Air recommended uh, dealer as well. Um, like I said, I contacted New Air Customer Service, had a really great experience. I, they were really helpful. I told them exactly what I wanted to do. I told them I was trying to turn a wine cooler into a fragrance cooler. Told them I wanted to get glass shelves in it. And they kind of helped me pick this model out as well. Um, you know, I really wanted the stainless steel model, like I said, but you're not going to get around with those clips. I mean, you could take like a like a little saw or something maybe in there and cut them off. But man, I don't even know how that would look, and I didn't want to screw with all that. So I went with this model. Like I said, it was under 200 bucks delivered. I think it was like under 200 bucks delivered right around that. You know, right now it's 239 on their site, plus you get 15% off that 239 plus free shipping. 
Um, like I said, I've had mine for about a week. Um, it does get down to the 54 degree temperature. I keep mine, I like to keep mine at 55. Um, people are going to ask me why I chose 55. Um, I, I've spent a lot of time, I'm one of those people who researches everything before I buy it. I've spent a lot of time reading different articles online from different fragrance communities, different fragrance blogs, and it seems universal that everybody says you should store your fragrances at or a little below room temperature between you know 60 and 65 degrees. That seems to be the answer I'm getting from a lot of, that seems to me kind of be the universal answer I'm getting from a lot of these websites and blogs and forums. Uh, I went with 55, I just wanted to keep mine a little bit colder um, to preserve the oil maybe a little bit. In my cooler here, I do have a uh, digital um, thermometer as well up here that I bought separately for like $5 off Amazon. Um, I got this just so I can move it around to see what the temperature variance is. And the, the temperature does vary, and it's going to vary whether you get a thermoelectric uh, cooler or whether you get a compressor cooler. And I'll actually so show you, I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to show you the thermoelectric fan and all that. Um, and I don't know if you can see it or not. Now, I don't have my fragrances in any particular order in here. Um, and I'll kind of get into that more as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me shine a light in there. You guys can kind of see the, um, you can see the fan in there, the compressor. Um, it's very small. It's in the middle, the middle shelf there. Like I said, it does run all the time. Um, it, I have had it on for a month now, and like I said, I don't notice any power difference in my electric bill. Um, it does, like I said, it doesn't consume a lot of electric. Um, that was one of the questions I talked to New Air about. Um, like I said, I like it. I, I think for the it's the best bang for your buck, you know. And I have roughly forty bottles of fragrances currently in my collection, looking to grow. Um, I have plenty of room still in there, as you can see. I mean, there's still a lot of room. You know, I have the bottom shelf maybe half full. Um, sorry, the light. I'm trying to shine a light in there so you guys can kind of see. But I mean, I. You really can't get many fragrances on the top shelf. Up there I have one bottle laying down and I have a lot of samples up there. Um, I keep my samples in there to keep them fresh as well. You see I have f roughly 40 bottles of cologne and I still have a lot of room in there. Um, like I said, sorry about the lighting, sorry about the camera, it's the best I can do. Um, this is double pane tempered glass, it's on the front of this. Um, it's nice man, it's very classy, especially the light I mean, my camera doesn't do the light justice. It looks really cool with the blue lighting. Um, like I said, you can get plenty of cologne in there. Um, you have three, one, two. You have three full shelves to put fragrances on. Four if you um, lay them down on the top. Um, they do offer two different other models. Uh, one being uh, smaller and one being larger. Um, so if you have a larger, you know, fragrance collection and you're looking to expand, um, they do offer a box another one that has like I don't even know what the size was on it. It was like, uh, let me look it up, I can actually tell you. They have one that holds 32 bottles. Mine holds 28. Uh, they have another model that holds 18 bottles and another one that holds 12 bottles. Um, that's the same style. Um, this one here, for the other two that were smaller, um, this one here was the best bang for your buck. Uh, they had, like I said, they do have one that's bigger um, I don't know how much bigger. I didn't really look at the measurements. It, it has two doors on it, two like French opening doors. Um, like I said, front are two hundred dollars though. Like front are like two hundred bucks, around two hundred dollars delivered. You really can't beat that price. Um, you know, I I really think it's the best bang for your dollar. I did get like I said, I did get glass shelves in there. I did spend a little bit of money on the glass shells. My glass shells, as I stated before, they're three quarter inch tempered glass. Um, so that's that's pretty thick glass. Um, that's the thickest I could get in there uh, with the diameter of the or the width or whatever of the channel that the shelf slide into. That was the thickest I could get was three quarters. Um, the shelves ran me like fifty dollars for three shelves. For three glass shelves, they're like fifty bucks. 
So all together, my total investment in this cooler, I have roughly two hundred and fifty dollars, um, give or take maybe ten bucks. But two hundred and fifty dollar investment, I have probably, I probably have two thousand dollars in fragrances, if not more. Um, so if I want to preserve those fragrances, I, I definitely think uh, having a fragrance cooler, you know, definitely will preserve your fragrances and last longer. You know, I've seen some other people that say they have had fragrances for a long time and they don't go bad and that's that's very well true um, I'm sure there are I just wanted to get the longest possible shelf life of my fragrances um, and not to mention it when you get out of the shower and you're putting on your fragrances it kinda feels good to have that cold you know fragrance you're spraying on your body um, trying to think what else I wanted to talk to you guys about. I mean, like I said, for $250, you know, if you're looking for something that you want to get below the 50 degree mark, which I don't know why you would ever want to store your fragrances below 50 degrees, um, but you would have to go with a compressor style. You're going to consume more electric. You're going to have the sound going with it. Like I said, I think the thermoelectric is the way to go. One big thing I will tell you with the thermoelectric, and I didn't know this when I first purchased it, is the ambient temperature definitely affects uh, the way this cooler operates. It sucks in air from the outside um, and pushes it inside and cools it. It's, I, I don't want to get all technical on it and I'm not 100% sure exactly how it transforms the air but um, if you're keeping your house at like 75 degrees you're not going to be able to get this fragrance cooler down to the 54 degree temperature. Uh, I did notice that I had it in a, another room initially, which I keep very warm, around 75 degrees. I know that's pretty hot, but I keep the room around 75, and I could not get the temperature down. I could get it down to like 58, and I had contacted New Air again, customer support, and telling them what my issue was. She asked that question as far as what the ambient temperature was. I told her around 75. She told me I couldn't get it cold enough. Um, or I could not get it down to the 54 degree mark, uh, ha keeping it in a room that was 75. I moved it to my bedroom and then eventually down here to my office, which is kept around the 70 degrees, 68 to 7, 70 degrees. And I can get it down to 54. I keep mine at 55, typically, um, degrees. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, you can't have it close to walls. I mean, the it is very temperamental. You have to have it like six inches away from the walls. Um, the ambient temperature has to be like 70 degrees or below for it to get down to the 55, 54 uh, degrees inside the cooler. Um, you know, I still think, I mean, most people don't keep their houses above 70, you know, 75, you know, and it, most people are not going to want to keep their fragrances at 54 degrees. Like I said, I keep mine at 55, sometimes 60. Um, shelf placement is also big in this. I've moved my thermometer around from different shelves. Uh, it will vary one to two degrees um, warmer than what the display says. If I have it on the very bottom shelf, it will be a degree and a half to two degrees warmer on the very bottom shelf than it is on the middle shelf or the top shelf. That's probably because of where the thermoelectric cooler fan is inside. Um, there again, I think with even getting a compressor style uh, beverage cooler, you're going to have a degree or two in temperature change just like you would in your fridge. Uh, I haven't had any problems with this. Like I said, I've had only owned it for a month. Um, I've, Like I said, I've spent hours researching and I've probably looked at every single major brand wine cooler, thermoelectric wine cooler out there online, literally probably every one. Um, I've spent hours researching them. I think this is the best bang for your dollar. Under $200, you get this thing, around $200, you get this thing delivered. Um, if you get it from Air Water, you're going to, you know, some of the places may spend another 15 bucks. Um, but Air and Water had it for, like I said, around $200 delivered. Um, if you, you can probably get, you know, glass cut. You can get thinner glass with that. I just wanted to go the thickest I could, um, just so I didn't have anything, I didn't have any chances of it breaking. Um, and not to mention the glass will help keep it colder um, than what the plexiglass will. Glass does retain the temperature a little bit more. Um, and honestly, the three-quarter glass in this 
I mean, it looks nice. It looks quality. It looks like it came with it. Where's my light? It looks like it came with it. I mean, that's pretty thick glass. Let me zoom in on that. Uh, it looks, the glass shelves look like it came with the unit. I mean, they're beveled. They got these rounded corners on them. Um, I mean, they look nice. They fit perfectly in, in the channels there. Um, you can slide them out. I don't really want to slide on that much, but you can see you can still slide these out. They do come all the way out. I'm not going to pull them out because I have several hundred dollars of the fragrances on that shelf. But um, it turned out nice. You know, this it's a really nice cooler. Um, the LED lighting looks sharp. I mean, it, it's a sharp looking cooler, whether you're using it for fragrances or even wine for that matter. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to, you know, reach out to me. Um, you know, I think that's it. Kind of, um, I think that's about all I want, really wanted to tell you guys. I've been waiting a while to do this video. I think we definitely need some more fragrance um, cooler videos on YouTube because mine will be the third one currently out there. Um, you can use plexiglass, like I said. I know Drac Doc used plexiglass. I do have plexiglass as well. Um, the plexiglass is a little cheaper. Uh, I just did not, it made this kind of squeaky noise every time I put a bottle on it. It felt a little more flimsy and I feel like the plexiglass has the potential to scratch. Um, not that you're really going to move a lot of stuff in there. I just didn't want that. I don't know. I just didn't like it. I didn't, it kind of felt cheap to me when I had those in there. I spent like $28 I think on my plexiglass for three glass shell or three plexiglass shells. I think I spent $28 and some change to get those cut. I spent $55 or $50 to get these glass shelves cut. But the glass shells, especially with the three-quarter inch, I mean, it looks superb. It looks quality. It looks like it came with the unit. It's awesome. Um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions or if you guys want some closer you know, pictures or you guys want other pictures, I can take them with my camera and, and send those to you. Um, please like, you know, share, and subscribe this video. Um, I'm going to be doing more fragrance review videos out there. I think this is a very important video for fragrance heads to watch though. Uh, I think everybody should I think everybody should invest in a fragrance cooler. You know, even if you set this thing at 60 65 degrees, um, it's it's still going to keep your temperatures at a more consistent or your fragrances at a more consistent temperature than what keeping them in a drawer will or keeping them just out on your shelf. Um, keeps a little more of the air off of them and I, I just I think it's definitely worth the investment especially like me I mean I only have like 40 bottles pardon my dog I only have like 40 bottles of clone or fragrances for that matter um, but still that's still like a two thousand dollar collection or something of that nature I have invested in my fragrances so um, you know to to weigh out what I would lose if my house got to 80 degrees and my fragrances went bad or something like that it's just it's worth it um, it's a great way to present them. You can see I have them, well, I had them um, laid out in different ways in there and make them look nice to be presentable. Uh, I did have, I did have tried different ways to, uh, like I had a shelf for each season. Uh, I tried doing that. You know, there's different ways you can set it up. Currently, I just have mine in there based on um, Fragrance House not necessarily season or anything like that. I did have initially season. Now they're in there by fragrance house. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. I hope everyone has a great evening, and uh, thanks for your time. Bye-bye.